Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Thank you guys for being with us one more week. And today is Monday, April 27. Okay, I want to thank to the parents who are staying with us, who are giving the support. Thank you so much. Uh, we're doing this for the children and we are so happy. I'm very glad that we can help some other way uh, to you guys. And we're going to start with some phonics. And Miss Yanti will be joining us. Thank you. Good morning, kids. Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, apple. Now, 
let's have Miss Mommy do the calendar for us. Hello, my friend. It's me again. Okay, we're gonna do the calendar. But first, can you guys tell me how many days do we have in a week? I don't hear you guys. Do you say seven? Yes, seven days. Can, can we sing together? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, we have seven days on a week. Can we do it in Spanish now? Siete días, siete días, siete días en la semana. Siete días, siete días, siete días en la semana. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Okay, now I'm going to do it more slowly. Sunday, domingo, Monday, lunes, Tuesday, martes, Wednesday, miércoles, Thursday, jueves, Friday, viernes, Saturday, sábado. Okay, now you guys uh, know what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Start with the letter S. Sunday. So if yesterday was Sunday, what day is today? That's right. Today is Monday. Monday. Today is Monday. Monday, Monday. What a happy day. Monday. Today is Monday. Monday, Monday now. And Monday start with the letter M. And M makes the sound of mmm. Mm -mm. Monday. And tomorrow, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. And Tuesday start with the letter T. What is the T sound? Uh, what is the T sound? T, T, T. Tuesday. Okay, now we are going to move on to the month of the years. Do you guys remember how many months do we have in a year? Do we have 10 months? Do we have 12 months? Yes, we have 12 months. They are 12 months. They are 12 months. They are 12 months in a year. They are 12 months. They are 12 months. They are 12 months in a year. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the years, fill them with joy and with cheers, the months of the years. Now, can we practice in Spanish? Do you guys remember? We've been doing this already for a little longer, okay? Do you guys remember the month of the year in Spanish? Okay, if you do, can you guys say it with me? Okay, January, Enero, February, Febrero, March, Marzo, April, Abril, May, Mayo, June, Junio, July, Julio, August, Agosto, September, Septiembre, October, Octubre, November, Noviembre, December, Diciembre. Okay, now we are done with the months of the years. Now let's see how many days 
we have on the month of April. Can we do it in Spanish too? Okay. One, uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro, five, cinco, six, seis, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez, eleven, once, twelve, doce, thirteen, trece, fourteen, catorce, fifteen, quince, sixteen, dieciséis, seventeen, diecisiete, eighteen, dieciocho, nineteen, diecinueve, twenty, veinte, twenty-one, veintiuno, twenty-two, veintidós, twenty-three, veintitrés, Twenty-four, veinticuatro, twenty-five, veinticinco, twenty-six, veintiséis, twenty-seven, veintisiete, twenty-eight, veintiocho, twenty-nine, veintinueve, thirty, treinta. We have thirty days on the month of April. And let's see. How many days we have gone through to the month of April? We almost done, right? So Friday last week was 24. Now we, on the weekend was Saturday and Sunday. That's mean we moved to number 26, 24, uh, 25, and 26. And today is Monday. So we move into 27. So today is Monday, April 27. 2020. Can we do it in Spanish? Lunes, abril, 27, 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. Okay, friends. Now let's do the weather. If you have a window nearby and you can look at it, you can look and tell me how is the day outside. How's the weather outside? Okay, let's see. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather out today? How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather out today? It's a sunny, it's a windy, it's a cloudy out today. It's a raining or a snowy. How's the weather out today? How's the weather today? I see Mr. Sun is out today. So today is a very sunny day. It's going to be a very hot, so please keep drinking a lot of water, okay? So can we do the weather in Spanish too? Sunny. Soleado. Windy. Vientoso. Cloudy. Nublado. Raining. Lluvioso. Snowy. Nevoso. Okay, and today is soleado. It's sunny. Okay, friends, now that I am done with the calendar, we are going to move on with some presentations. And our first presentation is going to be done by Miss Yoti. And if we have any birthday celebration today, please, parents, don't forget to type your child's name so we can sing a happy birthday by the end of this session. Thank you. Hello kids, okay, today let's learn the letter N. And before we do anything, let's make sure we get our rug first so that we can place all our things and be ready to learn. So with our walking seat, the rug, one hand at the top, the other at the bottom. Again, let's use our walking feet. And let's put the rug down and we roll it. And now let's get ready to learn the letter N. All right. Okay. Here's our letter N. The letter N. With our two fingers, 
Let's trace top to bottom, left to right. N. What sound does the letter N make, friends? I think I heard you telling it right. N. Let's learn N makes the sound of N, N, N. N makes the sound of N, N, N. N makes the sound of N, N, N. N makes the sound of N. Okay. Can we see what all letters we have? Pictures we have that begins with a letter. And this is a needle. And this is a nickel. And this is a newspaper. This is a needle again. And we have a nest. So all these letters begins with letter and with sounds n n n. And we have what objects? Our nail begins with letter n. And now we have the net n. Now we have the Nail, mm, mm, nail. Next, we have our nest, mm, mm, nest. Okay, and now let us do an activity. This is our letter N. And before we proceed, parents, we have this page uploaded on our website so you can download and have your kids do the activity. So let's do a dot painting for letter N. I have my colored pen. You can use your crayons or you can be more creative and you can use paint to do N. Up and down, up and down. It goes up and down. Okay, now we are done painting our letter. And so it makes the sound mm, mm, mm. And now we have a few other activity sheets too where it shows we have the letter N here and the objects related to letter N. So maybe parents can help little kids do recognize the objects which begins with letter N. And if they're able to do it, it would be perfect. And they could do this activity paper. And this, we have the letter tracing N. With a pencil or a pen, whichever you're comfortable, let's trace the letter N. Hold a pencil with two fingers, top to bottom, it goes on the dotted lines, top to bottom. This is the letter. And now, let's do the lowercase, top to bottom, left to right on the dotted line. And we have our nest, which begins with N. We have the net, which begins with letter N. And we have the nurse, which begins with letter N. So we have all these sheets uploaded on our website. Parents, feel free to download it and give it to your kids so they can get more creative and they can also learn at the same time. And now, once we are done with our job, we make sure we clean up our place, which is more important too. So let's put all our objects in. 
place it on a tray with our two hands. Let's make sure we put it back into the shelf. And now, with our two fingers, let's roll the rug. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll, and pull. Okay, and now one hand at the top, and other at the bottom. And with our walking feet, let's walk back and put the rug from where we bought it from. And now, let's listen to a story. So feel free to be comfortably sitting on your couch or on your favorite chair. Hmm, this is learning to share. Sharing is fun, isn't it, friends? So let's see what's happened in our story. One bright summer morning, Peppa and her friends are all out at the playground. Candy Cat is on the tire swing. Pedro Pony is going down the slide. See? Whee! You're having fun. Peppa, Susie Sheep, and Danny Dog are on the battery ground. Can you spin us really fast? Peppa asks Daddy Pig. Peppa's little brother George is at the playground too. George is a bit too young for the merry-go-round. Mommy Pig pushes him on the swing instead. Higher, says George. Not too high, George, says Mommy Pig. Squeak, squeak. Here are Rebecca Rabbit and her little brother Richard Rabbit. They have come to play. Richard has bought his toy dinosaur. Okay. Can I go on the merry-go-round too? Rebecca asks. Of course, says Daddy Pig. Hop on. He, 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 Rebecca laughs. Let's go really, really fast. Squeak, squeak. Richard thinks the merry-go-round looks like fun too. In fact, he wants to Hop on. Aw, groans Peppa. If Richard gets on, it means we can go fast. Richard is little, just like George. He is too young to go fast on the merry-go-round. It's okay, says Rebecca. Richard can play with George instead. No, says Richard. He wants to play with the big kids. George has a toy dinosaur, just like yours. Mommy Rabbit tells Richard, let's go and see. George holds up his green dinosaur. Dinosaur, he says. Richard holds up his red dinosaur. Grrr, he growls. George and Richard both love dinosaurs. That love Mommy Pig, that give Mommy Pig and Mommy Rabbit an idea. George can play. George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? Mommy Pig asks. No, says George. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? Asks Mommy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George and Rabbit do not want to share. Uh-oh. George, it will be more, more fun playing together if you share, says Mommy Pig. She takes Mr. Dinosaur and gives him to Richard. Richard likes holding both dinosaurs, but George is not happy. Wah! He cries. Richard, that's really nice of George, says Mama Rabbit. Now, let him hold the dinosaurs. She gives dinosaurs to George. Wah! He, Richard cries. Sharing doesn't seem like much fun at all. George and Richard always cry when they play together. Say, Peppa, they're just too little to play nicely. Can you big girls teach them to play together? Asks Mama Rabbit. Peppa and Rebecca help George and Richard make sand castles in the sandbox. See, playing together is fun, says Peppa. Everything is going very well. 
until George smashes Richard's sandcastle with his shovel. Then Richard smashes George's sandcastle with his shovel. Whoa, they cry. Oh dear, this does not seem to be working. How can George and Richard learn to play together nicely? Hmm, says Mommy Pig. I have an idea. George, what's your favorite thing in the whole playground? Mommy Pig asks. Seesaw, says George. George loves the seesaw, but he can't play on the seesaw on his own. He needs a friend to play with him. Squeak, squeak. He, he, he. George and Richard have lots of fun playing together on the seesaw. Mommy Pig's idea worked. George and Richard have learned that playing together fun, especially when they both share the fun with a friend. The end. Friends, don't you think sharing is fun? And sharing is caring too. So let's learn to share our toys with our friends and with our brothers and sisters. Now, after the story time, it is fun with math. So let's have Miss Mommy teach math numbers to y'all. Hello again, my friends. Okay, today presentation is going to be uh, mathematic. But first, can we stretch our arms? Okay, let's count. And you can guys can do your tippy toes too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh? Now, can we stretch our arm and let's do like circles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we are, I'm going to get a rug. And I have a question for you guys. Do you guys remember what number that I stopped my exercise? Okay, let's see if you remember. I'm going to get my rug and I'm going to do something very fun. I'm holding my rug with my two hands. One on top, one on the bottom, and I'm using my walking feet. Okay, now I am going to do a presentation. But before I do my number, I am going to show you something because we are going to learn about the a color. We already did yellow, red, and blue. What do you think is next? It is a green color. And I have two colors. I have yellow. And I have blue. What do you think I'm going to do? I am going to mix. So if you don't have green at home, we can make our own color. Okay. And now I'm going to mix. Wow. Do you see this, my friends? Do you see what color is turning? What color is this? It's a green color and this is how we make green we mixed yellow and blue and it comes green okay now I am going to get my numbers and my clothes are with color too with paint but it's okay I like to get messy sometimes okay friends now I'm going to show you a presentation Mathematic shelf and it is number eight. Eight. I'm gonna get my fingers and trace it top to bottom, left to right. I am eight, the number eight. Can we top our head? Gentle, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Do you guys remember that we did a little exercise and we stopped a number eight? This is the reason because today introduction is going to be number eight. Eight. Let's put this one on the side. Okay. And I have some counters. 
I have pasta. And parents can use anything. Uh, for, the, for the younger kids, please use something that is bigger in case kids, uh, they put things on their mouth. It can be very dangerous too. So this, if you guys want to use uh, counters with a small age, please just make sure they are under supervision, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight. I have eight counters, number eight. And now I also have some worksheets to do. I have number eight. You guys can do a coloring. I have different, I have a marker, I have a crayon, I have dot paint, and I have a coloring pencil. You guys can use anything you have at home. I am going to use a marker this time so you guys can see it. And I'm using green because today we introduced number, I mean, color green. Do you guys remember how we make green? We mix two colors, right? And it was blue and yellow. Okay. I also can do dot paint if you guys don't have markers or any paint so parents use anything you have available at home this is for my younger friends i also have this one this one is uh tracing you can have your uh, child trace the circles use a marker so you'll be able to see it one two three four five six seven eight and you guys can use any counters or anything that you have at home and i'm gonna glue my counters here one but sorry friends i used the wrong glue two three four five six Seven, eight. And I have this vegetable and it looks like a flower. I'm going to dip uh, my green color and let's see how this came out. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight what is the name of this vegetables my friend ladies finger okra. okra yes okra yes yummy i never tried this but i think i'm just gonna go to the grocery store and, and get this i hear this is very healthy so please eat your vegetables right now i'm using it as a Art activity okra <laughs> okay i also have this worksheet too there is a little bit more advanced for friends i know some of my friends know how to trace you guys can color and you guys can trace number eight if you guys know how to trace that is awesome remember you're going to grab your pencil with three fingers three fingers and trace number eight and color as well if you want you guys don't have to do green but i'm doing a green color today because this is the color that i introduced to you guys and i am all done 
all these worksheets are and to our website and feel free to print them out i'm going to put this away before i clean up let's see clean up time i'm supposed to be getting up okay three fingers remember my friends three fingers and i'm going to roll my rug roll 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 and pull roll 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 and pull roll 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 and pull standing up using my walking feet and i am all done and now there's no more time my friends we are done with the session i want to thank everyone for joining us today thank you for all your support we appreciate it and parents and teachers hello and i will see you guys tomorrow and what else any birthday celebration today no okie dokie so let's move on thank you for today buenos dias good morning good morning how are you guys i hope you had a nice beautiful weekend it was gorgeous out this weekend Okay, um, this is the classroom three, and a, three years old to four and a half years old. And I would like to welcome you back for another week of wonderful, fun, excitement, um, activities that we have planned for you. Um, let's start off with welcoming all the children from every center. From Danville, hello. From Dublin, how are you? From Niles, hello. Maple, hi. From um, Peralta, good morning. From Irvington, hello. I'm glad you guys join us today and hopefully you continue join us till we start school again. Hopefully it's soon. Let's start off with our calendar. Does anybody know what today is? Yes, today is Monday. So we're gonna start off with today is Monday what was yesterday correct yesterday was sunday if yesterday was sunday today is monday what is tomorrow tomorrow is it starts with the letter t tuesday so today is monday can everybody remember the month? It's April 27th, 2020. Can you guys help me count to today's date? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We're almost done. I'm going to start a new month. How about if you guys help me count in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuarto, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Hoy es lunes, abril, 27, 30, 30. Okay, now we're going to do our sensorial job. Last week we did a lot of um, big, small um, project. This is a continued one. 
So what we're gonna do, we got a couple items from our sensorial area, and we're gonna show you if you guys could recognize the biggest one out of the two items from the pink cubes. Is this the biggest one or is this the biggest one? I'll put my hand, you guys say yes or no. No, yes, this one's the biggest one. Then another part from our sensorial are round cylinders. Which one's bigger, this one or this one? We're talking about the round part. Is this one bigger? No, this one's bigger. Okay, which one's bigger out of our red rods? This one or this one? Top or bottom? Is the top one bigger? No, the bottom one is. And you can measure anything at home if you have two different cars, um, crayons, if you have one smaller than the other, um, fruit, or anything you guys could find around your house that could tell you big or small. Okay, first paper is circle the biggest one in each box. So we're going to start with the whales. Okay, so it says circle. First, you need to write your name. There's no spot, so you can write it in this part up here, in the green part. Okay, circle the biggest, bigger one in each box. Okay, is this the bigger one or is this the bigger one? This one? No. So we circle this one. And the best thing is just try to make it around the item. Okay, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Just so long you make it around the item. Let's do one more. Is this one bigger or this one bigger? This one. Okay, and then I'll let you guys do these two at home. Okay, next is the same thing, which one's bigger? This time it has a space to write your name. And today's date. Remember, I'm writing upside down, so that's why it kind of looks kind of funny. Okay? So which one's bigger, this whale or this whale? And this one you could color. It depends. You could color or circle. Let's circle, and then we'll color it. Okay, and then you guys can continue doing the other ones. Which one's bigger? You can circle and then color it. So next is going to be Miss Alice to come show you how to do our math work. Hi, my friends. Welcome to a new week of fun learning. Um, if you guys don't know yet, I'm Miss Alice, and I'm excited that I'm still you know, with you guys and doing this learning and teaching you guys every week. Um, you know, Miss Alice loves teaching you guys. Okay, so today for mathematics, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn what one more is. So last week, um, you guys learned the numbers one through 10. And so today we're gonna learn about what does one more mean? So it's kind of like an introduction to addition, okay? So we have some of these worksheets for you. Um, in our remote learning website that your parents can print out. So we're going to show you two different ways of doing one more. So if you can see that this is the number two and they're using counters. So let's use counters too. Okay. So I have one, two. 
So if you add one more, how, what's the next number do you get? So if you add one more, how many do you have now? Can you count with me? One, two, three. That's right. So if you add one more, we have three. You guys may notice, remember that you might have seen this at school. So this is a small bead frame. So for instance, if you have the number two small bead frame or the beads and you add one more, how many do you get? You get three, right? So you can get, you can see this. One, two, three. So it's in a beginning to addition. So after that, you can write the number three. So I'm going to write backwards. So hopefully that's correct. So as you can see, you can use counters or you can make your own small bead frame at home with beads and um, pipe cleaners or yarn. And then you can do it like that. So let's do one more together. Okay. So how many, how many do we have here? Whoa, I almost broke the container. Okay. So let's do one, two, three, four, Okay, so if we add one more, how many do we get? Can you guys tell me? I can't hear you. Can you say it again? Six. That's right. So let's use our small bead frame. So we have five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to borrow this. You add one more. How many do you get? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can draw here or you can use counters to draw and then just make sure you write your number right here. Awesome. Okay, so Ms. Alice is going to put this away and then she's going to show you the next one. So that is what adding one more is. And you can do this at home. You can, during snack time, you can say, Mom, Dad, can I have eight goldfish, but can I have one more? And that makes nine goldfish. Okay, so here, this is another worksheet for adding one more. So you can see that there's one boat. If you had one more boat, how many boats would you have? Did you guys say two? That's right, so you see you have numbers here. You can always cut it out and then paste it here, or you can always write them in. And you can also draw another boat if you would like. So what number is this, everyone? The number Four. So if you add one more hot air balloon to four hot air balloons, how many would you get? Would you get three? No. Would you get five? Yeah. So you would get five. If you need help, you can draw four hot air balloons and then add one more hot air balloon to help you add one more. Okay. So you guys can continue this and then put it in your folder so when you, we come back to school, you can show us. Okay. So next... Uh, Miss Maria is going to join us in um, wishing um a happy birthday and then we're going to sing our new song about coral reefs today, okay? So, Miss Maria. Um, we have a birthday to celebrate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So we're going to sing happy birthday to um. um so are you guys ready? Uh -huh. yes. Awesome. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Om. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Okay. Happy birthday! Okay, so now me and Miss Maria is going to sing this new song um, about coral reefs. Oh. Sway left, sway right, star jump like a starfish. Open and close, nice and wide. Tip toe, toe like side to side, like a crab. Clickety clack, jiggle like a jellyfish. 
Jiggle to the front, jiggle to the back. Let me see you jiggle to the front, jiggle to the back, back. Jiggle to the front, jiggle to the back, back. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Let's go. Come dine with me under the sea where all the sea creatures are living happily. Come dine with me under the sea where all the sea creatures are living happily. Dive like a dolphin, dive up, dive down, swim like a kingfish, he's a king without a crown. Like a great white shark, circle round and round, like a octopus, never to be found. Where did you go, Mr. Octopus? Did you know that an octopus has eight arms? One arm, two arms, three arms, four arms, five arms, six arms, seven arms, and eight. Come and dive with me under the sea, where all the sea creatures are living happily. Come dive with me under the sea, where all the sea creatures are living happily. Play. Star jump, tiptoe, jiggle, dive, shimmer. Let's go. Come dive with me under the sea. Where all the sea creatures are living happily. Come and die with me under the sea. Where all the sea creatures are living happily. Yay. Were you more fun, Miss Alice? I did. That was a good one, yes. Miss Maria. Really fun song. Yay. So we'll all learn this song this whole week. So come die with us tomorrow. Okay. Now Miss Annis is going to teach you about language. This week we have brand new letters to learn. We have three consonant letters and one vowel letter. But today we're going to start with the letter C. So we're going to work with letter C. Can you guys think of the sound for letter C? Okay, so we're going to find, let's see, we got a K. Cork that starts with letter C. We have a k -k -k camel that starts with letter C. We have crayons, k -k crayons that start with letter C. We have a piece of cake that starts with letter C. We have a, does anybody know what this is? You're right, a cow that starts with letter C. And let's do one more. How about a crab? C -c crab that starts with letter C. You guys can make yourself, your parents could help you make yourself a board. All you have to do is divide your paper in half and write the C on the top, and then find things around your house that start with letter C, like cookie, colors, a car, and just go around from room to room to see what you could find that starts with a C, and then you could divide it three ways the other way and put CRP, because these are the three letters, consonant letters that we're gonna be working with this week. So now we have papers for us to do. And what letter are we doing again today? Letter C. So again, we need a yellow crayon, a red crayon. And again, if you need help writing letter C, 
it's kind of like a circle but it doesn't go completely round you start from the top and you go all the way almost to the dots and leaving a space open for a capital C the small one is just the same but you go a little underneath the dots and make a C I did it with the highlighter so in case you guys don't know how to make it your parents could help you so you could start from the top make a capital C almost like a circle and then a small one is almost like a small circle but not meet all the way okay then the capital C is color red so underline what color capital C is and then lowercase c is yellow and this one's kind of hard because the c's look almost the same okay so you have to find the big one to the small one okay so this one's a big one and this helps us with our um, sensorial that we did because it's the same letter but one's bigger than the other okay and then the small C is yellow. I'll cover the top part. Okay. And then I'll let you guys finish the rest. And this is cereal. It says circus cereal. Both start with C. Okay. And then we have another picture. This was listen for the sound. K. K for cake okay write your name again color the one that begins like cake so let's see c cake c cookie um cat And then let's say the other pictures. I'm not going to color them. Let's just say them. T tape. A egg. C camera. C cup. Okay, so you color the other two pictures. And then our last worksheet is glue the picture that begins with C under the cake. Glue the other pictures under the sad face. So let's name the pictures. Cat. Cowboy hat. Can. Car. You know what? I think they're going to do this one as aluminum can. So it's under aluminum. It's a cowboy hat. Yeah. Kitten. Or they can <laughs> this one's a little confusing. You guys guess which one? Candle. Okay, I think it's the can. It's aluminum. Okay, so aluminum and frog goes under the sad face. Okay, cat, cowboy hat, car, and candle go under the cake. Okay, so you cut them out and glue them where they go. Okay, next is Miss Alice. Hi, my friends. Now we're going to do something fun. We're going to learn about coral reef this week. So you'll do, we'll sing this coral, coral reef song. We'll do some coral reef art. And so today, what I have for you today is we're gonna introduce you a little bit about coral reef. So I have some pictures here for you guys so you guys can take a look. These are examples of a coral reef, okay? Since we can't really physically go there now, I have pictures for you so you can kind of see all the different animals, the different 
what a coral reef looks like. And then I'm going to also talk to you about, give you a little bit information about coral reef. So coral reef is, is it under the sea or above the sea? Did you guys say under? Yeah, it's under the sea. It's in the water and it's sometimes it's called rainforest of the sea. You guys learned about the rainforest a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago. Rainforest is on land, above the land, not under the land. So um, coral reef is under the sea. So that's why it's called rainforest of the sea because you can see all the different colors and all the different animals. Um, it is the most diverse marine ecosystems on the planet, meaning that there's a lot of different species, lots of different animals, plants that live in one area. It is also found in clear tropical oceans. So if the ocean water or so if water is brown, that I don't think that's where the coral reef is. Or if it's um, green, I don't think that's where the coral reef is either. So it's usually in clear tropical waters. It needs sunlight to survive. So that's how you get the lots of the colors in the coral reef because coral reef, the plants need sunlight for it to survive and grow like all the plants above the land. Okay, so um, coral reefs, they develop in areas where there's a lot of waves. Do you guys know what waves are? They, you might see them in when you go to the beach. They're like just water that goes like this and you'll see people surfing. Um, it is a little dangerous, so you don't wanna be caught in a wave. So the reason why that they are, they develop in near the waves is because the waves bring in food, nutrients, and oxygen to them. So they can grow and strive and become beautiful. Doesn't this look like the fish tank that we have sometimes? Yeah, so this is the coral reef. So bef before we learn a little bit more, what, what, what can we do? Since this is so close to the um, it doesn't, it's not super low in the ocean water because it needs the sunlight. So that's why it's closer to the ocean, ocean surface. So what people usually do is they go snorkeling so they can see the coral reef closer. So should we go dive in and see the coral reef together? Okay. So before we go see the coral reef together, what should we do? So look, we have a picture of a snorkeler and you have to wear specific things so you can go under the water so you can kind of see the coral reefs, right? So can you tell me what you see in this picture that we might need? So we can go snorkeling and we can look at the animals and the plants in the coral reef. Did I hear you guys say goggles? Yep, so we do need goggles. So let's put on our goggles, everyone. You guys ready? Let's put on our goggles. This is Miss Alice's pretend goggles, but you guys can have your pretend goggles and put them on. Okay, so we have our goggles. What else do we need? We need something to breathe with. Okay, so this is what, this is um, a thingy that helps us breathe the air so we, you know, can stay as long as possible. Do we need flippers? Yeah, we need flippers so it can help us swim in the water. And if you want, you can always get, you can always put on one of these suits, okay? So to go snorkeling in the coral reef and explore the coral reef, you'll need goggles, something to help you breathe, flippers, and it's a suit if you want. You don't have to, this is very optional. Um, but yeah, okay. So this is an introduction of the coral reef. So now Miss Alice is gonna show you a worksheet that you can um, do. Okay. So this is the worksheet that is on our remote learning site and you can color and write coral reef, okay? So make sure you write your name and the date and you can trace coral reef. Remember top to bottom, left to right. And then you can trace it on your own if you're ready. And then you can just color the coral reef. Any color, remember coral reefs are, lot. coral reefs have lots of different colored plants, lots of different colored animals. Can you guys tell me what animals you can see in this picture of coral reef? Starts with the letter F. Did I hear you say fish? That's right, so fishies, lots of different types of fishies live in the coral reef. 
Can you guys name one sea, sea fish that you've probably seen in the movies? Um, his name starts with the letter N. Do you think Nemo lives in the coral reef? I think so. So you guys can draw a picture of Nemo there too. Okay, so that's the introduction of the coral reef. So throughout the week, you'll learn more about the coral reef um, from me, Miss Anna, and Miss Maria. So now Miss Maria is going to do like a quick art presentation with you. Hello, friends. Do you guys like Miss Alice's introduction to a coral reef? So this week we will be working on making our very own coral reef. What we will need for today, um, we will need a shoebox, paint, blue paint, and a paintbrush. So today the only thing we will be doing is painting the, uh, the shoebox. So because the water in the coral reef is blue, we're going to go ahead and color our our paint box, our box blue. Okay, and if you don't have paint, that's fine. You can always use a crayons or markers, whatever you have at home. Okay, and we're gonna color the whole paint box blue. And it's gonna be a fun activity because every day we, we're gonna um, add something new to the box. So today we will just be painting blue. Okay, so go ahead and paint the box, all of it blue, and then we're going to let it dry overnight. Okay, and then tomorrow we will be adding more and more to it. Did you guys enjoy the song? I hope you guys are learning it. It's a fun new song. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the box and then tomorrow I'll show you what it's going to look like inside, okay? So come on, let's go over to the other classroom and see what they have for you guys. Hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Okay, we're going to start today with our calendar. Um, how do we start our calendar? We started with the days of the week, right? So what is today, my friends? Today is Monday. So we know it's Monday, right? We all woke up this morning in a good mood, I hope. So it's Monday. What month are we in? April. But wait a minute, what do we have to do? How many days in a week do we have? Seven, five, and two. Make seven. Let's sing our, our Days of the Week song. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know what I forgot to do, my friends? I <laughs> forgot to clap on the day of the week, but we already know what it is. It's Monday. So if today is Monday, yesterday was what? S -s -s Sunday. You are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Okay, my friends, can you tell me what the date is? Let's look on our calendar. We're down here. So today is the 27th, the 27th. So let's say our calendar, ready? Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Can we all say that together? Say today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. All right, my friends, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send it over to Miss Amarita and she's going to tell you all about our math today. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Here's Miss Amarita.
Hi friends, this is Miss Amrita. Today we are going to be working on some addition. You remember what does addition means? Addition means to put together. So let's try out. I hope you all have this paper with you. So we are going to be starting this paper. Let's do our addition. So the first problem is 5 plus 5 equal. So 5. So we have to take 5. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus means we put together. We put together 5 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 plus 5 equal what do we do we put together we're going to be putting all these together here and see how many we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so friends five plus five equals ten now we will practice one more. Let's see. What is our next problem? Our next problem is 6 plus 0. Let's see. So first we'll take 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 0. Friends, zero means nothing. So what do we get when we add six plus zero? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And zero is nothing. So we get six plus zero equal to six. Friends, I hope you understand how to do the addition. And please finish all those by yourself. If you do not have counters at home, you can use pretzels, you can use anything, the beans or pastas if you have at home. Or if you don't have that too, you can count on the small counters here and find the answer. Thank you. Now I will hand, move you over to Miss Shannon. She will do the language with you. Hi again, my friends. All right, for today's language, we got a little, a lot going on here. So in your packets, you'll see a couple of worksheets. So we're gonna start off with learning about the letter J, okay? So don't forget to write your names. Miss Sean. So let's read the directions and, and the little story. Joy can pick a prize. It will be hers to keep. Will she take the jacks or the jet, the jump rope or the jeep? So what we're going to do is jeep begins with the sound of J, 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 J. Circle each picture whose name begins with the sound of J. All right. So, J, J, G. Hmm, okay. What about B, B, Bird? Hmm, no, that doesn't start with J, J, J. What about a Jack? J, J, Jack, yes. So I'm going to circle that. So you're going to do the rest of the worksheet and find out all the j, j, j sounds, okay? Let's turn it over. Okay, my friends. Now we are going to say the name of the picture, and if it begins with the J sound, we're gonna print the letter J, and then we're gonna trace the whole word. Oh, look, we have a Jeep again. J, J, Jeep. So we start from the dotted line, my friends, and go down. E. OK. 
Okay, so I start from the top of the dotted line and go all the way down to the bottom. And don't forget your dot at the top. What about leaf? Leaf. That doesn't start with a J, does it? Hmm, what else? Hmm, jug. J, J, jug. That starts with a J. So I'm going to write my J, okay, and finish. Okay, my friends. Now I want you to do the rest, okay? And let us know how you do. So, oh boy, what do we have here? More, re oh, it's Sam. So let's read this. Is Sam singing? No, he's not. Is Sam panting? Mm -mm. No, he is not. Sam is patting. Patting. So how do we spell patting? P-A-T-T-I-N-G. Okay. Don't forget to cover your answers and then you can check them later with your moms and dads. So you're going to do both sides. Okay. And then we have our next one. Oh, this man has a hat. Hat. How do we spell that? H. A T. Hmm. His hat is, I think they're looking for the color. So what color is his hat? Tan. Tan. Hmm. Again, let's finish our worksheet and then we can check our answers. And you can do the same on the other side. Oh, guess what? Our book report. Now, I have a wonderful book, which pretty soon Miss Amarita is going to talk to you about the life cycle of the butterfly. But we have a book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So what do we do with our book report? We don't forget your name. Oh, my. All right, and then the date, and then the name of the book. Where's the name? It's the title, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So I'm gonna write it on my, on my book report. And then the author's name is Mr. Eric Carl. All right, and then you're gonna find your favorite word and draw a very awesome picture, okay? Now you don't have to do this book. You can do any book you like, but I really like this one. All right, then, oh, more writing. Okay, now we're gonna trace our letter. So, looks like, hmm. All right, let's go from the bottom, up and around, and up and over, okay? All right, my friends. Now, Miss Amarita and I are gonna sing you a song. I know that last week we talked about recycling, right, my friends? So we're gonna go over our re recycle song. Ready? So, one, two, three. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recycle, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's easy to do. Cause your world is my world and my world is your world. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's easy to do. 
All right, my friends, thank you. We hope that you um, like that song and you've been practicing it. Now, Miss Almerita is gonna talk to you all about the life cycle of the butterfly. Hope you enjoy it. Come over, friends. We're gonna sit here and we'll do our, find the life cycle of the butterfly. I hope all of you have this paper with you, the life cycle of butterfly. So we can color those at home and we're gonna see how the from the egg we get the beautiful butterfly. So what do we get first? First, mommy butterfly lays teeny tiny eggs on the perfect leaf. She flies, flies and finds the perfect leaf to lay the teeny tiny eggs. And from the eggs hatched the caterpillar. And the caterpillar eats all day. They eat the leaf that they hatched on. They leaf eat all the leaves and soon they grow bigger and bigger. And after some time, they stop eating and they build a chrysalis around them. And they won't eat anymore. They stay inside. So we see, we can't see the caterpillar anymore. And there in, inside the caterpillar, the transformation starts. And as you see here, it's almost look like a butterfly and almost look like a caterpillar. So let's see what happens after a few days the beautiful butterfly comes out from the chrysalis. So see friends, this is our life cycle of the butterfly. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and the beautiful butterfly. So if we see our worksheet here, see we start with the eggs, then from the egg hatch the caterpillar, from the caterpillar, then stop eating and build a chrysalis around them. It's called chrysalis or cocoon. And inside the chrysalis, chrysalis, the caterpillar starts to change and then comes out the beautiful butterfly. There are so many different kinds of butterfly. You can color any color you want. And now, my friends, we're gonna see a fun song about the caterpillar. Ready? Miss Shannon will join me with that. Let's go sing the fun song about the butterfly. Are you ready? Little butterfly sitting on a tree, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Ready? Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud, one named Soft and one named Loud. Fly away, Soft, fly away, Loud. Come back loud, two little butterflies sitting on a stick, one named slow and one named quick. Fly away slow, fly away quick. Come back slow, come back quick. Two little butterflies flying in the sky, one named low and one named high. Fly away low, fly away high. Come back low, come back high. I hope you enjoyed the song friends and you can add any words you want and then keep on going with it. Bye. Okay my friends, we yeah, last week we talked about the um, names of the week in Spanish. So we're going to review them very quickly, okay? So if we remember, what is Sunday? Let's say Sunday in Spanish. Domingo. Okay. What about Monday? Lunes. What about Tuesday? Martes. 
Wednesday, miércoles. What about Thursday, jueves. What about Friday, viernes. And what about Saturday? Sábado. Okay, one more time. Let's review it real quick. Sunday, D domingo. Monday, L lunes. Tuesday, martes. Wednesday, miércoles. Thursday, jueves. Friday, Viernes, Saturday, Sabado. Okay, my friends, I'm going to say goodbye for today. I hope you all enjoyed our lessons today. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.